This is a study of three in the right against two in the left within a larger framework of three, four times. So to get this rhythm going, what we want to do first, and what we need to do, is to be able to hear d divisions of three in the right hand. So we're going to we're going to start out just by playing triplets in the right hand, and we're just going to use an F chord for demonstration purposes, staying on an F chord. So it's going to be a total of nine F chords to fill a measure of three, four times. So it sounds like one, two, three, two, two, three. Three, two, three. And I'm going to loop that. I'm not trying to go on to the next measure, just looping to get a rhythmic groove going. Next, I'm going to strike a, a G note with the first F chord. One, two, three. And in fact, let's build this sequentially. So let's play to where we're playing. Just the same thing over and again. G in the bass. So it says one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. Here comes the divisions of two now in the left hand against the three in the right. And it's actually much easier than it seems like once you lock into it. So if you just take the first three F chords and think of those temporarily as their own structure, one, two, three, the one is easy, it hits together. One, one, two. Now the next bass note is a D on the end of one, two, and three. So in very slow motion first, it, the sequence of events is like this. Together, right, left, right. Try just that much. Together, right, left, right. Now repeat that over and again without change until you get a groove going. So it's like this. And you can even think, in fact, if I say T for together, L for left, and R for right, you can vocalize this too. So you're saying T... Go ahead, T is together, R, L, R, T, R, L, R. Now make your brain connect with this motion of R, L, R, right, left, right. Now think about it, right, left, right. There you go. That's the key to this whole feel. Let's practice just that a few times. Right, left, right. particular one I'm hitting the, the in-between note on a D, because that was, will ultimately be what happens first. So let's do right, left, right, right, left, right. Yep, go ahead. That's good. Okay, so you want to work on that. Now let's do the T, which is together. 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 There you go. Together. Three, one. 
It should be saying that rhythm. And we never really get that fast, so let's back it off a little bit to about the speed that we need to get to. And it's more like this. So let's complicate the bass line a little bit by flipping the middle one. One, two, and three. Now start with the D. One, two, and three. So we go from D to G. And then the third one is the same as the first one. One, two, and three. That gives us a total of three structures. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. together so it sounds like this. One, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. I'll count those now in three, four time like this. One, two, and three, two, two, and three, three, two, and three. One, two, and three, two, two, and three, three, two, and three. So the difference is one starts with a G. Starts with a D with the chord. Two, two, and three. And then three starts like one. Three, two, and three. Now the tricky part is when you go back to the one, two, three, it resets. So it's one, two, and three, two, two, and three, three, two, and three, one, two, and three, two, two, and three, three, two, and three. Now how do we get this to switch into the actual music? Well, once you have that in your head, I'm going to play it a total of four times just so we hear it and get used to the sound of it. Let's just listen. Now we hear that rhythm continuing in our mind. So even though you're not playing, you still hear one, two, and three. mentally, but you're not playing them. And you can even count them verbally to make a sound, but your hands are now playing what's actually written. So let me do that four times in a row. Just that fifth measure there. One, two, and three. Two, two, and three. Three, two, and three. One, two, and three. Two, two, and three. Three, two, and three. One, two, and three. Two, two, and three. of the piece in which it occurs. thing that happens later on is going to be 16th note. So once we've got through that passage, we can sort of free ourselves up and start thinking about, or stop thinking about triplets temporarily. <laughs> 